a daily family routine in Yemen. Water is in short supply, and the burden of carrying it home rests mostly on women. Sometimes it's hard to believe the talk about water shortages and the looming crisis. This is one site I wasn't expecting to see in Sana'a in mid-August, but it's been raining quite a lot recently. And with all the talk about severe water shortages, it makes me wonder whether Yemen is making enough of all this rainwater. Ali grows potatoes and corn on his farm in Sana'a, but he doesn't rely on rain. Rainwater harvesting methods have taken a backseat to drilling. Ali's dug a well that's almost 500 meters deep, and he still feels the water is running out. Every year, we feel the water going down. When we turn on the pump, we feel the water is weaker. It has been stored for thousands of years. Now, the water coming out of the well is more than is being replenished by rain. Agriculture takes up about 90% of water resources in Yemen, and half of that goes to cultivate qat. This narcotic plant is very popular here, but it consumes a lot of water. To cultivate it, farmers drill wells without any government regulation. The authorities seem to be powerless. There is no political will. Second, there is no enough data about the water crisis. Third, citizens are not aware of the problem. And finally, the government is too weak to implement the law. Half of Yemen's population doesn't have access to clean water. The UN says 14,000 children under five die every year of malnutrition and diarrhea. As long as the government doesn't step in to regulate supply, the most vulnerable will continue to pay the price. Rami Rohayim, BBC News, Sana'a.